Hello. Gorgeous boy and gorgeous girl. Okay. Adam. Jamie, you're so beautiful. Your lines are, are magnificent, and your carriage, and your poise, and this, uh, this kind of dancing is beautifully suited for you. I don't know what its practical usage is in the, uh, you know, outside world. I will say this, your husband is gonna have a fantastic dance at your wedding. Um, no, it was, it was really, really magnificent. Hawk, this is not suited for you, this kind of dancing. And I was empathizing with you, Ed. Your hands and your carriage, the way that you supported her, was absolutely beautiful. So for that, I commend you. Okay. Mary, what did you think about Hawk? What did I think of Hawk? <sighs> you know, I think the beginning was extremely well done. I think we could have seen a lot more rise and fall and a better quality of movement across the floor when we actually got into waltzing. There was a lot of moves that showed a lot of great line, but not a lot of movement. So we hid the fact that you could not dance waltz well. Jamie, your extension, like Adam said, it is phenomenal. And it makes us just watch you, you do it with, you know, just effortlessly. And uh, you're just so beautiful out there to watch that it, it makes us forgive a little bit about how it's not really working or it doesn't look like a fantastic waltz. So I'm sorry, it really didn't hit it for me. But I still commend you, Hawk. Okay, Nigel, did it hit it for you? Um, Tony's choreography hit it for me because yeah. what she did there was play to Jamie's beautiful lines and actually took your mind off the fact that this was a waltz to a certain degree. And I think I only really saw four measures or four bars of waltzing in the whole thing oh, no, of the proper waltz. There was at least six, but understand there'd be make more. Make a liar of there it would, two bars. No, there would be more fight, if, we, fight, if, fight, if, fight, if we could see the rise and fall. But they did. Yeah. there's a lot well, of waltz in Paul, there. You've got a low centre of gravity because of the very nature of how you dance, which doesn't help the rise and fall. It's more of a fall and a fall rather than any rise in the middle of it, you know? So while while you have this person as a partner, Hawk, I think you're going to maybe scrape through this week. But Jamie's lines took away from anything that you were doing. Okay. You know, we've got to keep it real here and, and say it wasn't really good enough. Okay? okay. Did you find this a challenge this week, you guys? It was a challenge, but, I mean, it, it was beautiful. And um, I just want to thank the fact that I was given the opportunity to do a dance like this. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just want to say thank you. Well, you definitely gave you your best shot. And all the girls in the audience for watching you all like that. It was very swoony. Now, for Jamie and Hook, call 1 888 Tempo 06. That's 1 888 8367606. Remember, you'll get at least two hours to vote for your favourite at the end of the show. Well done, guys. Looked beautiful, too. Beautiful. <laughs>